The New Horizons spacecraft was launched on January 2006, and it took 9.5 years to reach the planet Pluto. The planet Pluto was discovered by an amateur astronomer named Clyde Tombow in the, about the year 1930. His own ashes are on the New Horizons spacecraft, which makes it even that much more special. There has never been a human that far away, at least in spirit or ashes form. And that is just amazing. It takes a radio signal 4.25 hours or 4 hours and 25 minutes just to reach the planet Earth. So when a radio wave comes from Pluto, the images won't get here until 4 hours later. That is just amazing and shows how massive the universe is. Also, in order for it to have reached Pluto, the New Horizons spacecraft slingshot across from the planet Jupiter. So when it arrived at planet Jupiter, it used its gravity to launch it even farther in space to reach the planet Pluto. When it was nearby, the planet Jupiter gave it a 9,000 miles per hour boost so that it could even send it even farther and faster into space. By the way, 9,000 miles per hour is much faster than a speeding bullet right here on planet Earth. So if you were to look up and see this spacecraft going by, you would just see a very small dot for a fraction of a second and you wouldn't even notice it at all but just barely just like that that's how fast this spacecraft is going so fast so this spacecraft will soon reach the planet Pluto on July 14 2015 and it's amazing because there hasn't been any spacecraft at least to my knowledge, that far away, nearby a planet. The farthest spacecraft, however, are the Voyager spacecraft that have gone beyond Pluto and are going in their stellar to other stars. But this is the very first spacecraft humanity has ever launched to the farthest planet we know of, or knew of at least, the planet Pluto now known as the dwarf planet. It has a companion called Charon or Charon and two other smaller bodies that are called Nix and I believe Styx or similar. And there should be other moons around as well which is the only binary system that we know of right now. So a binary system is two planets orbiting each other and ours right here on planet Earth we don't really call our moon and Earth a binary system because the moon is is our moon and it doesn't have an atmosphere just like our planet Earth but on Pluto and, Ch and Charon they are similar and that is why we call them a binary system, because they're planets. And so that's why they are that they were considered planets because they are a binary system consisting of two planetary uh, objects. So we haven't gotten any good images of it, except for the Hubble Space Telescope which has taken decent pictures but not really good enough where we can see a lot of detail on these planets and that is what this new horizon spacecraft will do it will take pictures of its surface with an 8 inch or 8.19 inch 
telescope mirror from the instrument called lori which is an imaging um, instrument so this is very exciting news because we still don't know what it looks like up close we have ideas of what it looks like but one thing is for sure it is a planet that is very very cold because its sunlight doesn't reach it as much as here on planet earth so I could just imagine the surface of it being a lot of ice and a lot of overall frost and icy cold beyond 100 degrees below freezing beyond 200 freezing who knows how cold it is but it is very cold but just picture going to the Antarctic right here and times 10 or similar. It's just very frigid and very cold out there. It's crazy how we build these spacecraft and yet they survive for long periods of time in the colder, coldest reaches of space. And as for fuel, it's using some plutonium on there that decays over time and that lasts a very long time and it is the only known uh, substance that we know of that we use on our spacecraft that lasts a very long time including the rover on Mars Curiosity it's also using plutonium as fuel so that it could charge up all its equipment on there but I'm carrying, I'm getting carried off anyways and back to New Horizons it will be an amazing achievement and just stay tuned for those pictures right here on the Grand Universe <laughs>